Okay, so all I really want to demo in this little webinar, um, weblet, it's going to be so short, is just dynamic sweet composition really in action. So the way I'm actually going to show that is actually adding a plugin into Word. So I'm going to launch Word. Just this is the normal. Don't want to activate yet. So in the virtualized instance of Word. And if I do open, I have various document types available to me. Notice I have ODT, and that's really the only one I have for open document formats, open document text. So I'm going to close that down. Now what I'm going to do is jump over to my app V server, and I'm going to create a link between. Sorry. So a link between Word and the Sun ODF plugin. Now I can do this manually by updating the ODP files, but let's just say for now I'm I'm lazy. I don't want to sorry, OSD file. I can actually use a tool Microsoft provide. The dynamic suite composition tool. And what this allows me to do is actually select an application. Um, the interface is not the most friendly say word and then I'm going to add in a dependency for that ODF plugin and I'm going to make it a mandatory dependency so it has to be there for word to start and then save and it's going to update the OSD file if I then come out of that and actually look at the ODS file OSD file again you can actually see I have this new entry and it's basically telling me the SFT so the, the guy that contains the content of the ODF plugin and the GUID now I don't have to use this tool I can manually go and just open up the OSD file for ODF and essentially It has a unique GUID, this 3.40.2.5.6. I basically am cutting and pasting this section. Etc. Into my the file that has that dependency. But like I say, <laughs> the tool makes it much easier. So now that's done. I create a dependency between Word and as a dependency on the Sun ODF plugin. So now if I jump back to my client. I'm going to refresh the server so it goes and checks for any updates to any of my packages, the OSD files gets new versions. And I launch Word again. So that one activate. Now if I actually do open, notice I have a new option, ODF text document, ODT and OTT types which I didn't have before. If I jump back to what I had, I had text, open document, text will cover a text. Well, now I have text, open document, ODF text document, will cover text, etc. So we can see, just by creating that dependency, I now have access to those plugins. And that applies to anything. I mean, this isn't just Plugins. I could have a Java application. Uh, the reason I have OpenOffice, some of the demo I'm OpenOffice, they're not the best at, um, that uses Java. So I can actually create a link between, for example, um, I can find the. It's always kind of hit and miss on this. There is some work. So you can see on the OpenOffice, I create the link. We have the Java runtime environment, the JRE. So that means that JRE is there when OpenOffice up executes. And that's really all there is to dynamic suite composition. Um, I hope that helped. I hope it showed really how powerful this thing is and how easy it is to actually implement.
And with this, we no longer have to link, for example, .NET or JRE into every single app that requires it. We can just create one sequence version of JRE or .NET or anything else and then link it to other applications that leverage it, making it much easier to maintain our environment. Okay. I appreciate your time. Hope that was useful. Thank you.